Uh, I'm going on to private members' bill, Rent Certainty and Prevention of Homelessness Bill 2015, first stage, and I call on, Depu I call on Deputy Desi Ellis to move for leave to introduce the bill. I do, move. Deputy Ellis. I, um, last time, Carl, yeah. I, I um, request that leave to be granted to introduce a bill entitled an act to amend the Housing Act 1988 and the Residential Tenancies Act 2004 to update the definition of homelessness to more appropriately address the needs of people experiencing homelessness, to bring the task of homelessness prevention within the remit of the 1988 Act, and to provide for rent certainty in the private rental market and for other related matters. Firstly, I'd like to thank the excellent advocacy work of groups like Focus Ireland, Threshold, Simon, the Peter McVerry Trust and St Vincent de Paul, who have fought long and hard for the kind of reform contained in this simple but important and timely bill. The inspiration for the legislation comes from the work of these groups to highlight the gaps in legislation and policy in dealing with homelessness, as well as the factors which have combined to form our current homelessness emergency. Today we have an ever-growing population of people who are without a home or secure accommodation. Thousands of people every night sleep in B&Bs, hostels and hotels rooms. Hundreds sleep rough on the floor of night cafes. Many more invisible homeless sleep in abandoned buildings, cars, dark corners where no one looks or on the sofas of floors uh, or floors of a friend or a relative. At least 1,500 of our homeless are children. Children who must get up, go to school and learn about life through the prism of desperate need, isolation and insecurity. The causes of this emergency are many, all interacting to create a perfect storm. But the failure itself lies firmly at the door of the government. That is not to say this government specifically, as the groundwork has been laid for the crisis long before you took office. But the current government's inaction, and even in some cases reckless action, has turned a fire into an inferno, a wave into a tsunami. This bill seeks to amend Section 2 and Section 10 of the Housing Act 1988 to update the definition of homelessness and bring in new responsibilities for local authorities in dealing with homelessness and people affected by it. It provides for the local authority to consider the position of families and individuals at risk of homelessness, as well as those already experiencing it and so compels the authority to act in a preventative way. Prevention is better than cure, as we always remind, or are always reminded. But that is not the case when you consider policy for tackling homelessness. Homelessness is treated, treated like a dangerous, contagious and terminal disease, which must be quarantined and controlled. The amendment to Section 10 provides for funding for bodies such as local authorities and approved housing bodies to support interventions which would prevent homelessness and adequately deal with the problem to ensure the housing of people who need support. A crucial point of this amendment is to open resources to those who have not previously experienced homelessness so as to prevent them from falling into this pit or quickly remedy the, the individual crisis. The last section is to do with the job the government failed to do for the last five years, to put a lid on rent rates. The government failed to deliver rent certainty, only providing for a delay in rent increases. Rent certainty is the limiting of rent increases over a period of time, not simply the delay of such increases. This bill would tie increases to the rate of inflation, which would only provide landlords with the ability to raise rents within a small margin or not at all. This would provide real certainty. No bill is perfect, and I welcome constructive criticism, which is intended to enhance the bill and to deliver on its aims. Rejection of the bill by this government, as often happens with opposition bills, is totally unacceptable, given it is very reasonable 
and badly needed content that we're here. We have an emergency crisis with 5,000 people homeless, 1,500 children in emergency accommodation. We need more certainty for these people. And we've also got people ending up in, in, homeless from rent supplement and from RAS and uh, people who are losing their mortgages. And there's many of those people in the courts at, at the moment. This is urgently needed, and I ask for your support. Good morning,